Today, my dog uh, Toto and my other dog uh, who's hiding, Nana, are inviting you to swatch these wonderful Daler Roni tubes, uh, watercolor tubes that my follower, Anita, she's incredible, sent me as a present from UK. Because, you know, Daler Roni is very hard to find outside the uh, UK, except for Aquafine, the student grade but this is the artist grade. I wanted to try this paint for such a long time. And here we are. Let's start swatching them. Without further ado, let's start swatching. Of course, I'm Elisabetta, your Italian watercolor friend with a passion for our supplies. And uh, I can't wait to start swatching this wonderful range. Let's start now. The first pigment is uh, PY184 Bismuth Yellow. It's an opaque yellow. Uh, it's a substitute for a cadmium lemon, I think. I was curious because I have never owned this... Uh, color before and I think that it can be a nice replacement if you don't want to use cadmium lemon it's a nice uh, cool yellow very pretty I can tell you this paint is very nice to use very pigmented and very soft you see there are also some tubes that are 15 milliliters the price point just to let you know for me this is very comparable to rembrandt so an artist grade without incredibly fancy colors they have a wide range but colors are not so fancy but the quality is uh, i think outstanding it seems to be and the price point is uh, very attractive and this is py 129 a pigment that I have started to love recently. It gives great mixes. It's a yellow because it's a PY, but it has a, a green. Uh, it's very leaning towards green. As you say, it's called green gold in most brands. And it's very interesting. You can mix a great quinacridone gold with it. And uh, you can see that in a video, in a dedicated video. I put the link in the info box. Then I have this sort of vermilion. No binder issue so far. I have this vermilion, which is PR254 and PO73. Basically, it's two pyrrole colors. It's pyrrole red mixed with pyrrole orange and it gives this super saturated um, super saturated vermilion. It's really nice. Um, it says transparent. We'll see when it, uh, it dries. But it's incredibly saturated. Very nice to use. Very nice to use. Now, one of my favorite colors, which is Cobalt Violet PV14. They call it Cobalt magenta here there are small binder issues but i think it's typical of this pigment because in almost every brand i have binder issues with cobalt violet but um, it was only a surface it is a quite delicate color as you see very granulating. I have a video dedicated to this uh, pigment, PV14, and uh, this cobalt magenta, cobalt violet, is absolutely beautiful. Incredible saturation. I can tell you that the Rembrandt version is not this saturated, although very pretty. It's difficult to find a saturated PV14, and this is absolutely beautiful you see the not only the granulation but also what i think is called the flocculation paint in hiding has a video about the 
difference between flocculation and granulation. This not only granulates, but it also flocculates. I think it's, it groups in large uh, stains of color, pools of it pools. And it's very nice effect. I love it. Then we have um, permanent rose, PV19, which is a quinacridone rose. You know, PV19 can be both violet or rose. This is, of course, the rose version. I love quinacridone colors. They're great for mixing flesh tones because they don't granulate. And um, this is almost a magenta, almost an opera rose. It's beautiful. It's really beautiful. Very, very pigmented once again. Look at how transparent quinacridone colors are. I don't want to overwork this, but it's a wonderful rose, both for florals and for flesh tones. I think this is a very nice color to have. Then I have uh, Alizarin Crimson Hue. You know that um, most brands have a replacement for Alizarin Crimson because it's not uh, light fast and here we have a very interesting combination wow this is so beautiful incredibly transparent we have um, perilene maroon pr 179 and uh, quinacridone red pr 209 and you know this is what i call it it's best a jewel beautiful absolutely beautiful Quinacridone Red, PR209, one of the most beautiful reds around. Do you see the, it's like a cherry candy. I love this color. It's wonderful. Quinacridone Red. By the way, I'm uh, working on a perfect portrait palette, one of my next videos. And all these Quinacridone colors are Perfect for portraits, I think. This is Carmine, PR 170, a warm uh, red. And the naphtal reds like this one have a very variable light fastness according to manufacturer. I'm sure this is light fast. It gives three stars. It gives three stars, so uh, for Daleroni, this is very light fast, so this is, should be okay. And it's a beautiful warm red. Mm -hmm. So saturated. This, these colors are incredible, believe me. Then I have ultramarine violet. You know that in standard watercolor set, you always get dioxazine violet as a bluish purple. But um, I tend to stay away now from uh, dioxys in violet, which I used to love very much. Because it has a very large dry shift. And also, it's not as delicate and granulating like this ultramarine violet PV15. Wonderful granulation, wonderful color. Now we have um, PBC. Oh no, what happened here? Oh, this is the green gold. Let me fix this. So I made a disaster with my green gold. I have uh, green gold everywhere on my hands. Here we have in the thread blue, a transparent blue. A dark, very dark. Uh, very lovely, totally underrated blue. It gives beautiful darks uh, when mixed uh, with the uh, burnt amber. And um, here it is. This is obviously not a pre-made watercolor set. It's tubes that my friend Anita has picked for me. And um, as there was a sale on Jackson, I added a couple of extra colors. 
and I might integrate this in future as well because I have some colors missing and um, it's really an interesting range look at this blue here we have um, ultramarine blue that they call permanent blue I don't don't know why but it's pb29 which is beyond out ultramarine blue and it is uh, ultramarine let's see if it granulates it should granulate and it does very lovely i can tell you it's a joy to swatch these colors not only because they're very beautiful but they're also very easy to spread on paper lot of color this is phthalo blue green shade and um, it's primary blue and you see PB15 column 3, it's a green shade. Very nice. Aftalo blue. Great mixing blue. Very nice. Very transparent. Non granulating, obviously. Now, this is manganese blue hue. And it says transparent, although it has white in it. And uh, it's a replacement for manganese blue, which is um, which has been discontinued. It's very rare to find. And uh, I use these hues of manganese blue. I have it from uh, Windsor and Newton, I think, and I use it a lot for sky. I really like it. It's a it's a great blue sky. I like it. Cobalt Turquoise Green Shade. They have two Cobalt Turquoise. This is PB36, which is a pigment that I really like. And uh, this is also very lovely sky blue. It granulates because it's cobalt color. Oh, this is so beautiful, so pigmented. Adorable. And then Dahlia Roni has a red shade version, always cobalt turquoise, say pigment PB36. So, was so curious to see the difference. Of course, uh, these cobalt colors are more opaque and granulating. And uh, yes, I can see the difference between these two PB36. And we will have a PB36 uh, in a cobalt green version as well. So very curious. These are both beautiful. I might prefer the green shade, but the red shade is also wonderful. Maybe for seaside. Wow, really fantastic. Then we have a phthalo turquoise, not a cobalt version. This is uh, phthalo blue and uh, phthalo green together. It's very greenish, actually. I hope you can see that on camera. It's very, very greenish. Beautiful color. This is for tropical sea. turquoise here i have uh, cobalt green deep really this follower of mine that sent me this range made me an incredible present because because i can tell you Dario brownie i find aqua fine here in italy but not the artist range and it, it's an incredibly high quality and this is the cobalt green deep and this is still PB36, just like the cobalt turquoise green shade and red shade, but in a greenish version. Beautiful. Need to change the water. This is a tervert hue. I 
I Love uh, Genuine Terre Verte, the green earth. But uh, this is a hue sun producers feel that they need to offer an alternative to genuine terre verte because terre verte is very delicate, um, very little staining. Uh, like um, it's one of those pigments like potter's pink that um, are slightly hard to rewet and they're not uh, very strong, not very saturated. And that's why I think they offer an alternative. And this is phthalo green, yellow ochre, and uh, mouse black. And let's see when uh, when uh, it dries. It looks nothing like green earth to me, but it's a nice, lovely green. Here I have uh, sap green. Sap green uh, has a different formulation for each uh, manufacturer. I think that sap green must be in any range because it's like the go-to green. And this is not too vibrant. It's quite uh, desaturated, it's muted. And I really love this sap green. Some sap greens are too vibrant for me. I need to make a video comparing different sap green. This one has PY153. PG7 and it's desaturated with some um, Venetian red, red iron oxide, PR101. Then yellow ochre and it says transparent here. You know that uh, yellow ochre is a beautiful color, but I sometimes uh, replace it with um, rose sienna because uh, it's too opaque, yellow ochre. It's beautiful, it's a beautiful color. It's one of the colors that I finish more often, but um, the, its opacity sometimes is difficult to handle. And But this one says transparent, so it doesn't look that transparent now, but we'll see when it dry, when it dries. I'll put more color here on this black line that I made with the Sharpie. And it is made with the synthetic version of the pigment, PY42, which is more beautiful most often. Then I have this beautiful tube of uh, Indian Red. Indian Red is a cooler treatment of uh, red iron oxide, PR101, and it's a red that I like very much. You make great purples with PR101. It's great for a sky. It's a desaturated red, which I really like. Sorry for the mistake here, but Elisabetta is not Elisabetta if we don't make at least one mistake in each of my video. This is Perilene Maroon PR179. And it's a beautiful dark red. I never know if I should put this in reds or in earth colors, but um, if you go to buy it online, usually you find it among earthy colors, so I respect this order. But I feel that this could be with reds as well. So this is Perilene Maroon, and I have a Perilene Red made with the same pigment right after. But look at how beautiful this is. In mass tone, it's like a dark red, but it has a yellowish undertone. I hope you can see it when it's diluted. This is Perilene Red, so same pigment, different treatment, a lot of pigment. And it's similar to Perilene Maroon, but it's cooler. It's absolutely different. You can have both. It's cooler and we have this pigment in the alizarin crimson hue. It can replace by itself uh, alizarin crimson. Now we have Venetian red, PR101, just like Indian red, but warmer and usually more opaque. Let's see. It's not that easy to use Venetian red. I, I don't use it that often, I must say. You need to dilute it a lot because it's too opaque. 
it's a nice brick color but um, i don't find myself using it so much I prefer transparent colors with some notable exceptions like cobalt turquoise which love and i love the opacity so this is venetian red very nice brick color very pigmented yes i don't think that the green gold below was big problem and then i have one of my question marks color raw amber that um, I haven't really figured out how to use it. I use it for wood, actually. It's a cool brown, usually it's PBR7. Let's see. Yes, I think that for trees uh, trunk, this is the perfect color or soil because it's cool. I'm always afraid to squeeze these smaller tubes because usually I end up with a disaster but I need to put a darker mask on so more paint here okay because these um, swatches are small and this is actually beautiful raw amber I mean for soil or trunks, as I said, it's a perfect brown. This is so lovely. Beautiful. Let's try this color. I'm not, uh, this is, was a long video, so I'm not uh, trying a um, sketch using these colors. Otherwise, it would be too long. Let me know in the comments. Uh, of course, if you have used this uh, colors yourself if you know them if you like them what colors i'm missing i know already that i'm missing a burnt sienna and a burnt amber but any other recommendation i'm here very happy to take it and uh, i'll come back when these are dry now my paint is completely dry and we can make our final considerations about these beautiful 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 colors as i said this is not a pre-made watercolor set but are tubes that have been picked singly one by one by my friends anita i have added two or three and i think i would like to add uh, three colors to this range a warm yellow like an india yellow or a new gamboge maybe a transparent uh, orange po71 which i use a lot if i want to make a palette out of this and two browns burnt sienna and uh, burnt amber and then i will be all set i think that uh, it's a wonderful paint and uh, this yellow ochre is slightly opaque it's not as transparent as they said but it's a um, it's normal for yellow ochre and the colors are incredibly pigmented it's a joy to paint with them as i said before i'm not doing a sketch a demo with these colors because uh, this video would be too long but if you want to see a demo with these colors just let me know in the comment and i will be more than happy then make a very short video with a maybe a demo landscape and uh, and that's it okay thanks a lot for having watched this with me i hope you enjoyed it thanks a lot to my follower anita for sending me this wonderful uh, dale Rowney artist grade uh, tubes a real joy to swatch them and i see you soon on this channel if you wish you can give me a thumb up and you can also subscribe to my channel if you haven't done it so far so you won't miss my next video ciao 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 from elisabetta ciao